it goes into the MCBs, comes down to the MCCBs, goes into another MCCBs. This is madness. You have bus bars, you have multiple bus bars. Hey, what's up guys? Are you guys okay? Welcome to the home tour series. <laughs> it's so beautiful today. And in the home tour series for today, we are somewhere in Aquaibom. I love this place. I love the food. <laughs> it's so beautiful to be here. And today we are on a rescue mission because the man who owns this property is in trouble. He says, my solar system isn't functioning properly at all. I've tried all there is to do. I've called in a lot of people, but it's not functioning well. What am I supposed to do? So he reached out to us and said, guys, I need your help. Cause he works remotely. The power is pretty bad here. So he's relying heavily on his solar system setup. That means he definitely has to work well. And he's saying, guys, I need your help. And that's exactly where we come in. Let's see what we can do to unravel this situation. What exactly is wrong with the solar system setup? How do we exercise these demons? <laughs> Let me introduce you guys to what is going on around here. You can see all the solar panels we have here all mounted on the carport style. Right here we have 16 pieces of 400 watt solar panel and then we have 18 pieces of 460 watt solar panel the first connection that he did when he did an upgrade here was all in series connection they had to connect all of them in series to be able to generate the high voltage because what you have on the inside is a hybrid high voltage inverter system but right now we are changing the model so in a couple of minutes we're going on the inside so that you guys will see the solar system set up okay so Let's um, see what the solar system setup looks like. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, guys, Hello. meet Mr. David. So David is the owner of this property. <laughs> I can tell you guys, he's very frustrated with this system. So um, David is going to tell us exactly what is wrong with this system. David, what exactly is going on here? There's a multitude of problems. Um, first of all, we have an AVR, and whenever there's grid supply, okay, and it tries to go into the system, okay, it automatically shuts off. Okay. Now this this is a hundred amps um, charge control. One hundred amps charge control. Exactly. Okay. And um, for some reason, I'm not quite sure if it's a connection issue or if there's a fuse that's broken. Okay. But there was an error, and I had to shut this particular one down. Okay. So, so this wasn't coming on. It, it was, was showing, showing it was showing error signs on it. Correct, correct. Okay. It was coming on previously, but then all of a sudden it just started showing errors. Okay. So I had to shut this down. And also this particular one also has some errors. Um, during the day you would just see it flashing. I think okay. typically around two, three. Okay. And then I'm always watching it because then I have to come in and Turn off the breaker okay. down here, and then turn on the turn off the breaker down here. Okay. And if you can notice, there's no um, the voltage is all incorrect, yes, which yes, affects Dave. this okay. and that. Okay. And also another problem is you can only charge one battery at a time. You could only charge one battery at a time. Exactly. <laughs> so if I try to turn this other breaker on, okay. the whole system shuts down. The whole system shuts down. Correct. You can only turn it on one. At a time. One at a time. So yeah. there's some kind of form of conflict going on. Exactly. And right okay. now the voltage is similar, 53.2, 53.2. Okay. But if I try to turn the second one on, okay. It'll probably take maybe a minute and then all the lights are off. Okay, so some the way this connection is done is that you don't have the two batteries connected together. That's what it seems it's like. It's separated with a circuit breaker. So yeah. you charge one battery one at a time. One at a time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, so this is basically what you want to correct. You also talked about um, when the grid comes in, something correct. about the grid. So can you explain yeah. that to us? Since it has been installed, because when it was actually installed, there was no grid supply then. Okay. There was no NEPA. Okay. Um, so when grid supply came in and, um, you know, it's supposed to go in here and then come in through here. All the way here. The system automatically just kicked it off. All right. Um, we'll Start, start uh, doing the much we can. We'll explain to you what is going on, why you're having this problem as time goes on. We'll call okay. you back to let you know what's going on. All Thank right. you so very much for your Thank time, you. David. Thank you. All right, cheers.
right so we're jettisoning the high voltage charge controller so when we go on the inside i will explain to you guys the reason why we're doing that okay so i just need to on my own check the um um the strength of the wires that was used for the original connections that sent in the they sent in the current and the voltage on the inside so all of the wirings were done from here and it went on all, all the way inside so let me check out and find out exactly the strength of the wire so these spds we have all over the place is totally very unnecessary we have mcbs we have mccbs we have multiple boss bars absolutely unnecessary this is madness this is a waste of resources for the gentleman who has spent a lot of money trying to do this solar setup is way too many spds in display okay so you have one it goes into the mcbs comes down to the mccbs goes into another mccbs this is madness you have bus bars you have multiple bus bars in the entire place all right so this is just not professional so the rational thing to do right now is the challenges that it's having is that the charge controllers is not working these are low voltage charge controllers so the low voltage charge controllers is not working with the high voltage charge controller that's the mppts that you have built inside this hybrid inverter now this is a high voltage hybrid inverter this has an mppt charge controller that operates with a high voltage uh, mechanics okay so um it's a 100 amps charge controller now the high voltage charge controller is being combined with these charge controllers you can see these charge controllers here these are low voltage charge controllers so the unprofessional thing that the installer is doing here is that it's combining low voltage charge controller and high voltage charge controllers you don't do that because they don't function the same way the output and the input power conversions are totally different okay so it's never going to work with the low voltage charge controller so the moment you turn this on it will shut this guy off the charge controller absolutely will stop working which is exactly what is happening here so from this point the rational thing to do is to discontinue with the usage of this high voltage charge controller that you have inbuilt on this hybrid inverter and introduce low voltage charge controllers so it will make more sense to continue on this trajectory since you already have this 100 amps charge controller low voltage here so we'll definitely have to introduce two more of this and discontinue with this other guy since they are very low unit charge controllers these are 60 amps each and i don't think it's necessary here and besides combining the two of them together might not be so cool because it might not be working together with the same dynamics and the same mechanics so the best thing to do at this point is because the man has over 15 kilowatt worth of solar panels on the roof so we might need to introduce uh, more of this type of charge controller so since it's the same mechanics the same function same outputs the same function basically uh, the, all of them are going to be working at the same rate so none is going to supersede the other or try to cause a conflict in the energy generation of the way they get to charge or bring in energy into the system so that's what we're going to do we will definitely have to introduce two more of this type of charge controllers to complete this connection circuit in that way we'll be able to solve what is going on here while we change the connection that you have on the inside because the connection that came into this high voltage charge controller is all in series to be able to match the high voltage connections because the high voltage connections has to do with lower amperage and higher voltage but right now we definitely have to make that three in series as we're coming in as a configuration that we're going to use to be able to connect this guy so the only function of this hybrid inverter will be to supply power into the house it's no longer going to be charging the batteries through the solar panels but it will be charging the battery through the grid so if you see what is going on right here you can see that only one of the battery is functioning right now this one is completely dead so the reason is that it provided two circuit breakers to control each so each of the battery is connected to a circuit breaker so because the charge controllers do not work the same because they did a wrong combination of a low voltage charge controller and a high voltage charge controller combining them together they are not working because it's a conflict in their charging system so what happens is that you would need to power down one of the batteries to be able to charge and power the other one down again when you're ready to charge the other one so with what is going on right now this is almost depleted this is not working at all while this is functioning so if you look at the voltage here you see 52.2 volts 
while the other one is completely down so this is the inconsistencies and non-stability in the charging that we're experiencing here that we intend to resolve by the time we're done with all of this so we'll definitely have to parallel these batteries the way it's meant to be paralleled and put them all in the same circuit breaker to be able to get the best of performance from the batteries the um, issues that we had with this particular solar setup uh, we've been able to we've been able to introduce two more charge controllers to work on the same frequency with the one that we met here which is a 100 amps charge controller that we met here so all of them are same low voltage charge controllers everything seems okay it's all working well the only thing remaining is for us to tidy the wires close the trunkings, the combiner boxes and the surge protectors and cover up the changeover. Everything else pretty much is good. All right, so this is what it looks like after the successful surgery. <laughs> like I said, we have to continue on the trajectory of the low voltage charge controller that we met here. So we've had to introduce two more. We have 120 amps charge controller here. We have another 120 amps charge controller and 60 amps charge controller. So they are all low voltage charge controllers that we have here. So we all had to remove a lot of circuit breakers, SPDs, MCBs, MCCBs, multiple bus bars, a whole lot of them, DC search, AC search, way too many of them that was not necessary. So we had to remove all of them. When we came here, the, this particular battery had to be turned off before the one underneath had to be charged because the charge controllers couldn't work at the same time. And that problem was caused by the installer by trying to combine the low voltage charge controller and as well as the high voltage charge controller at the same time. So if you need us to come check on your system, you've been working on your system, you've gotten a lot of people to come check it out, but it still remains unresolved. You're still having a lot of problems with your solar system. We could show up at your doorstep, but you have to write us first. You can leave a comment below, you can send us a DM, you can send us an email through our website, you can give us a phone call, you can leave a comment below, you can also send us a DM. You never know, we could show up at your doorstep and point you in the right direction of what is exactly wrong with your solar system. Thank you so very much guys, keep subscribing because that's the only way you support this work that we're doing and we fully appreciate it, okay? Don't forget to comment, don't forget to like and do not forget to share. See you guys in the next video.